For today's video, we will answer a geometry challenge coming from one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given a semicircle with the diameter AB, draw another semicircle such that they have the same center. Next, draw a chord CD measures 20 units that is tangent to the small semicircle. Given that AB is parallel to CD, then the question is what is the area of the region shaded in orange? Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now let's answer this question together. All right, so our goal is to find the area shaded in orange. Now, to answer this question, what we're going to do is to first take note of the center of these two semicircles. And then what we're going to do is to connect this center to the point of tangency of chord CD, like this. Now, also take note that this radius is perpendicular to chord CD. Because this chord is tangent to the small semicircle. And now, what we're going to do is to apply some properties of a chord. Now, take note. Perpendicular drop from the center divides a chord into two equal parts. Therefore, from this point of tangency, this segment CD divides into two equal parts. Therefore, we can split this 20 into 10 and 10. Now, what we're going to do is to focus on this figure and then let's connect this point C to the center of this semicircle like this. Now, take note, this segment right here is the radius of the big semicircle. Now, let's call this as capital R. Also, take note that this segment right here is the radius of the small semicircle and let's call this a small r. And now, Let's focus on the area of the orange region. Now, to find the area of this orange region, what we're going to do is to find first the area of the big semicircle minus the area of this small semicircle. So it looks something like this. So we have here pi capital R squared over 2. This is the area of the big semicircle. Then minus the area of the small semicircle, which is equivalent to pi small r squared over 2. Now, let's simplify first because take note, we have a common term of phi over 2. So, let's factor out pi over 2 like this. Now, we can say that the area of the orange region must be equal to pi over 2 multiplied by capital R squared minus small r squared. Now, the question is, how do we get the value of this capital R squared minus small r squared? Now, looking at this figure, we can see a right triangle. We have 10, R, and we have a hypotenuse of capital R. So now, let's focus on this diagram. Since we have a right triangle, we can now use the Pythagorean theorem. If we do that, we get something like R squared, which is the hypotenuse, equal to the sum of the squares of its leg, which is R and 10. Now, 10 squared is simply 100. And if we subtract small r squared on both sides, this will give us capital R squared minus small r squared. And this is what we want because we have here the area of the orange region must be equal to pi over 2 multiplied by capital R squared minus small r squared. And we know capital R squared minus small r squared simply equivalent to just... 100. So, we can replace this by 100. Therefore, the area of this orange region must be equal to pi over 2 multiplied by 100. And this will give us an answer of 50 pi. Therefore, our answer to this question, given this figure, then the area of the region shaded in orange must be equal to 50 square units. And as always, we are done.